Hi, this is Dorian. I'm a senior solution engineer at Gravity. Today we'll talk about event native API management. And I will demonstrate some of the new capabilities of the API management 3.20. So regarding the Gravity IO platform, today we'll be focused only on the API management product. This is an overview of the event native API management we are providing to manage at one place easily and securely both synchronous and asynchronous API. Today the demonstration will be focused on how we can push data to an MQTT broker using some HTTP POST requests. Therefore, the use case we will demonstrate is how you can ingest data directly from different sources, location, devices to an MQTT broker that is a live MQ broker through the Gravity gateways to put in place authentication, authorization, protocol mediation, traffic shaping, analytics, and covering the full API lifecycle from the design of the API, producing the async API specification, to at the end, how the consumers will interact with your API on the developer portal, discovering your documentation and subscribing to your API to use it. This demonstration will use the new v4 API definition. That is a new simplified structure that supports both async and synchronous APIs. It is obviously built for automation, but still very human readable. You will find in this definition all the useful information about your API, definition version, a type, but also the name of the API, this version and description, and three important parts that are the listeners, the endpoints, and the flows. In the async HTTP listeners part, you will define the different entry points to reach and communicate with your API using some path. So here, for example, I have defined slash demo slash MQTT. This path will be used when calling the gravity gateways to call this API. Then you can use different kind of entry points, HTTP POST, HTTP GET, WebSocket, server sent events and webhooks to interact directly with your API in a synchronous manner or asynchronous manner. Then we have the endpoints. This is where we will define the connection to the backend services. You can use a Kafka a Solace broker, or here in the example, we are using an IMQ MQTT broker. That is a local one. Then you have the flows. The flows is about how to use all the different policies you have in the platform to put in place security, traffic shaping, rate limiting, cache, mocking, and so on, on four different flows. The request and responses, but also the subscription and publication actions that relates to the asynchronous world. So let's jump directly to the demonstration. Here is the Postman request, where we can create an API using post requests, calling directly the management API of the Gravity platform. You have here all the different details of this API, especially the listener, that is an HTTP post, and the endpoints directly linked to the IMQ MQTT broker that is running locally on my computer. So I will send this request. This will create the API. I have a 201 created with the result of my request. Then to access an API, you need to at least have one plan. A plan is a way to put in place some security plan. For the sake of simplicity and for this demonstration, I will use a keyless plan, but I will apply some policies directly on this plan. So here is my keyless plan. Here is my default flow. And on the request, I will apply a rate limit to be able to limit the amount of data I will push directly to my MQTT broker. So I will create and publish this plan, start the API to be able to call it directly on the gateways, and then I will connect an external monitoring tool that is MQTT Explorer to be able to see what's happened on the MQTT broker side. I will connect and I will start to push data during a post request. So I'm doing a post request to the entry point I have defined and the path I have provided slash demo slash MQTT. And I'm pushing a JSON payload that relates to, for example, a device that will push a sensor value. So here I'm pushing for example, this value, and I can see directly on an MQTT Explorer that I'm getting directly, instantaneously, my data pushed. Let's say, for example, I will change the sensor value to 28, let's say, and send again my request. It will be updated. But if I'm going to call too quickly my API, very quickly I will get a 429, too many requests, and a message explaining that my rate limit is exceeded and I have to wait a little bit to be able to make some other calls. 
Thank you for this demonstration and don't hesitate to reach us directly if you need any further information.